Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about mental health. Right? What is it? Um, and actually, I want to thank uh, someone, my well wisher, um, who messaged me the other day after I posted the accountability video, and she told me, you know, and I'm not going to take her name unless you know she comes and comments on this video by herself and identifies herself. I don't want to do that. But she wrote to me and she said, you know what? So she, I understand the importance of accountability, eating right, healthy, and things like that. But what about mental health? What are you doing for mental health? And I thought, you know, that was a very great, that was a great question because mental health is super important. And this is something oftentimes we don't talk, including myself. I've never spoken about it. I talk about how much workout, get moving, things like that. But this is where it all starts. But this is all, this is mindset. This is where it all starts. So very quickly, um, I will share with you my, I don't want to give you the whole journey, but I want to tell you where I started my journey because this is something everyone and anyone can do. I can give you all the tactics like meditation, things like this, blah, blah, blah. But if I take give you everything, you're going to just be basically uh, melting down and you are going to be like, you know, uh, not doing anything because there's too much information. Our human minds are not designed to have so much information. It gets information overload and it just melts down and just stops. You disagree with me? That's fine. I'm not a doctor. Um, but based on all the readings and all everything that I've done to my life, which is those micro experiments and micro uh, changes that I've made to my life, or the over the years, I know this, what they say on the, in the medical books or in psychology books and in all the neuroscience books are right. Number one, if they were all wrong, but you know, on the flip side, we are all lining up to get the vaccine for COVID-19 or a lot of us are, because we believe science is right there, but we will say science is not right there when it comes to mental health. That just doesn't work, right? That's just like... Sometimes you just have to believe. But anyway, forget about all these things very quickly. Mental health, the number one thing is to cut out the negative things from your life. Oh, that's so easy, right? Absolutely not. That is super hard. So for me, I had to identify things that did not serve me well. Okay, that did not serve me well. So I basically made a list of things uh, that will, I'm actually looking at my list, uh, things that would cause, give me anxiety, things that will uh, increase my stress level, that things that would increase my frustrations, things that would raise my blood pressure, or things that would, um, you know, change my breathing pattern. So basically the way we breathe normally versus when the way we breathe I do not know, but I shouldn't say we. The way I breathe normally when I'm just talking right now, it's very different from when I am just like in an uncomfortable situation. Let's just call it uncomfortable situation. A conversation that I don't want to have, uh, things that I want to have, anything that gives me anxiety, I, my breathing pattern changes, all right? Uh, it changes. And there is a way technique to change that, it's like a seven-second breathing technique, but I don't want to get into that. But I will just say, identify those things right identify those things make a list keep a running list and one thing that really helped me is journaling i do journaling every i journal every day uh, every morning after i wake up with my morning coffee i do that i don't do anything until i finish my journal and over there i basically write down things it's a basically uh you know i went to michael's and i will show you right now <sighs> It's this thing. I think they sell it in Michael's for seven dollars. I ended up buying like twenty of these books, white books. Like you know, it's full of like notes. Every page as you go. And this is from last year. So I keep that. That's my book, right? That's the book I write, and I write down things I accomplished yesterday, as well as things that made me uncomfortable. It's white page, just write down the date and things that made me uncomfortable and the advice I would give to someone in my own same situation. So easy, right, guys, or folks watching this? No, it's not, it's super hard. Getting into the rhythm of this thing was the most challenging thing I've done. It's harder than the workouts, right? It's discipline, 
it's forcing yourself to do something that you don't you have never done before. Try it and give it one. So there where I started identifying things that I was uncomfortable with. I basically made a list. And then I was like asking myself, knowing what I know, would I do this again? So what that essentially mean was I stopped going to events and parties and social gatherings that were around at night time. And you know, we Bangladeshis, our events, parties are at night, starts at 8 p.m. And 8 p.m. is around when I go to bed. So what? I started declining a lot of off, a lot of invites. This was like a few years ago. And people started calling me crazy, including my own uh, family. My other half is called called me crazy because she was uncomfortable. Now she cannot go because I'm not going, right? I was like, I'm not, I'm not compromising. And, I, and you know what? I will tell you. Being Bangladeshi, and if I, if you are in any Bangladeshi parties, you know sometimes these events, uh, evening parties, will run to late at night, and you will see some families. They will have the children. They're up till like you know 10, 11, 12, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., or maybe sometimes they're falling asleep in the car or in the in the guest house, things like that. Now people usually say, "Oh, the children, they will wake up and things like that." It's like you're giving your kids uh, drugs and then you will tell them, oh, when they grow up, they will get over it. No, I know I'm making a very great big example, but basically coming back to the point is I stopped going to events uh, or invitations, family gatherings, whether it's Eid, Ramadan, and you know, Ramadan, fasting, we eat after sun after sunset, right? So all the invites during Ramadan happens, guess what? And in the evening, right around my bedtime. No, I stopped going there. People call me crazy. People are like, you know, you're not being religious. I'm like, no, I'm not going. Number one, my children have gotten used to the fact that, you know, they go to bed at 8 p.m. So by 8 p.m., they're super tired and they're, they want to go to bed because they wake up at 5 in the morning. Uh, so why am I going to torture them? Right, and why am I going to change their habit? Right? Discipline, it all comes with discipline. So, I stopped going with people called crazy and I started missing out things. Hashtag FOMO. Right, I was getting FOMOs, but I was like, I'm going to stick to it. So, that was the hardest thing I've done being out of the loop. And I told people, like, you know, you want to invite us, invite us for lunch. I don't do evenings, simple as that. Evenings are busy, and you know what. Fine, we didn't do Ramadans, but you know, we do Eid, and Eid, it's only lunch. If it happens, happens, because you know what? The same people who are inviting us at nighttime will also go to other people's house for lunches, or they will have other people come over for lunches. So when I started putting my foot down, I stand up for myself and said, I'm not going for evenings. Uh, I don't do that. It's too late, too far. Suddenly, people started inviting us for lunches. Hey, we still have, and you know what? That identified me, my core group of well-wishers. That's one. And till day, as I say this, I'm not lying. Today is March 7th, 2021, I believe. I still have family members who laugh at me, who think, you know, I'm a baby, who think, you know, I need to go to bed at 8 p.m. People are laughing at me. But look at this way. Does it bother me? No. Why? Because I know I have a better life. I sleep well at night because I have mental clarity. I don't have all this anxiety. I don't have anything else. So I'm telling you, if people are laughing at you, be it. That's how strong I have made myself when it comes to mentality. Mental. So that's one thing. Stop doing things that you don't want to do just because of social pressures. Rule number one. If you don't do that, forget about everything else. Doesn't matter whether you're eating right. I mean, food helps, right? Absolutely. Like yesterday, I skipped lunch and I was super cranky. Oh my Lord, you do not know. I was like cranky. And I knew that I was because I did not eat. Uh, I basically skipped lunch uh, and that was Saturday. So I had to skip lunch because when I ate breakfast late, I was in a meeting. Yes, I work on Saturdays too. Um, I, my meeting went till around 11, so in the morning. So I ate breakfast then, so which basically means I missed my lunch and I ate around again at 3 p.m. So that window, it just messed up my whole, like, you know, whole uh, chemical levels in my body. There's, it's 
drastic. I don't want to like, you know, ramble on and go on. But basically, so eating right definitely helps. Eating the right food helps uh, because we are, man, this topic can go on and on. I just want to drag it on. Coming back to mental health, eating right helps. But coming back is cut out the bullshit in your life. Now you tell me, Sajid, I cannot do it. It's not easy. Oh my God, we have so many things. You know, I spent over half a million dollars, not to, you know, impress you, but to express to you. I spent over half a million dollars and six or seven years of my life building a business. And I just walked away from it one day when I realized this this crap is not serving me because it was giving me more headaches than I wanted to deal with. I just walked away. People call me crazy. My family calls me crazy. And by the way, half a million dollars of my own money. I am not lying. If you want to talk about it and you want to see this, come uh, and message me per, per privately and I will share with you. I don't want to really like you know, air my dirty laundry. I walked away from it. I just literally, one day I was like, my employees were like, what the hell happened to you? They like when I got hit by a bus. Because I asked myself this question, knowing what I know and what I mean, would I redo this business? And my question was no, because I hated the people I was serving. I hated the people I was serving because you know, they were needy. Literally, I will tell you, they were needy. They were like, you know, give me more, give me more, give me more. And I was like, you know what, crap it. Whatever it is, money is going to come and go. This life is going to come only once. This life is going to only come once. And I was born to do something better than just be, you know, feeding these people who are ungrateful and everything. I just walked away from it. So everything in my life, including I have stopped talking to family members just because they were not serving me. Literally, I realized that every time I would talk to them, it just creates more stress for me. I shall not take this family members by name, but I will tell you, I walked away. I can, you can call me crazy, whatever these things, but you know what? This life is going to come only once. That's how, and it didn't happen overnight. It happened over the years, right? I'm not sharing all this to kind of, you know, say how cool I am and what I can do. It's just saying, guys, if you want to know, do mental health and you want to be able to sleep peacefully and you want to be staying away from depression drugs and you want to be able to like avoid alcohol and you want to be able to like, you know, not bitch, this is it. It's not, it's, it doesn't cost money, but it costs, it takes a lot of willpower, a lot of strength and moving away from it. First thing, write down, make small changes, right? Just how, you know, I can go like, you know, probably... Uh, lift. I don't know. I haven't lifted in a long time because I don't have these equipments at home. But when I was lifting or when I was like, you know, doing um, deadlifts, I could go up to 245 pounds, right? That's when I stopped. But now if I go back, I haven't done in like almost a year because of the pandemic. Uh, I would probably start again at like maybe 45 or maybe 90 pounds max. That's like, I cannot go back to 245. If I do, I will hurt my back, right? I'll be sore. I will hurt myself. So, Start small. What it starts is slowly removing the negative things from your life. That's mental health. I can talk about meditation. I can talk about everything else. It's like those are like the top of the house, right? Like if you don't have a solid foundation, no matter what you do on the top, the foundation will be shaking and the house is going to collapse. It's like you know, you're building this skyscraper or a tall building on a shaky foundation you have to have a strong foundation the strong foundation is remove the negative things in your life and then the food and the workout and all the things are just basically adding it and making the foundation stronger so that way even if things are not uh, going right your way you will still be hanging on like here's another great example react versus respond oh god this is so great you know when people get frustrated and i used to at one point when i would get frustrated i would be like cursing and yelling and screaming i've done that you know in fact you know early on when i was doing my ventures in bangladesh i would be like you know snapping back at people especially to and i would be like you know what the hell is wrong with you and i would be doing that but now i don't react I mean, I don't react. I don't have those impulsive moments as much as I have probably say I've cut it back by 95%, 97% just because I've removed all this negativity and I respond. And that when some people, when I, and it's funny when people react to things, 
where they're like, you know, lashing out or they're like, you know, talking back and yelling and screaming. I know that basically means that things are not right in their life. It's funny, right? I know that things are not right because if things are great in your life, you are not going to react. You're going to respond, right? And respond basically takes a lot of power where you take it, take the information, you process it, and you say something differently, right? Anyone can scream at you. You can scream at me. I can scream at you. That is super easy, right? That's what dogs do. They see something they don't like. They just like bark. Responding is like, why are you doing it? Slow down. Ask them a question. But you cannot do this unless you have mental clarity and you have mental strength. So, oh my Lord, this has gone up for 15 minutes. I apologize. But basically, cut out the negative things. I've spoken a lot. Uh, I want to, didn't expect to speak this long. If you're still here, great. Thank you. I hope this serves you. Nothing to sell here. I hope it helps you. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye.